ever pondered about the intricate web of power, money and influence that shapes the world? Ever wondered if a single family could be puppeteering the global economy from the shadows? This brings us to the intriguing world of Rothschild conspiracy theories. Our journey begins in the late 18th century with Meyer Amschel Rothschild, a German Jewish banker. He established an international banking family through his five sons, who set up shop in London, Paris, Frankfurt, Vienna, and Naples. The rise of the Rothschild family was swift and spectacular, making them one of the wealthiest families in the world. This rapid accumulation of wealth and power ignited the first sparks of conspiracy theories. As we move into the 19th century, the Rothschilds expanded their influence, financing both sides in the Napoleonic Wars. Some believe this was a meticulous strategy to control the outcome and profit regardless of who won. This theory suggests that the Rothschilds used their immense wealth to manipulate nations and shape history, a belief that continues to fuel conspiracy theories today. Fast forward to the 20th century, the Rothschild conspiracy theories took a darker turn. Theories emerged linking the Rothschilds to tragic events like the Titanic sinking and the assassination of President Lincoln. Some even claimed that they were the puppet masters behind the creation of Israel in 1948. In recent times, Rothschild conspiracy theories have taken a digital turn with the advent of the Internet. The family is frequently implicated in theories about the New World Order, a supposed secretive power elite with a globalist agenda to rule the world. They're also implicated in theories about controlling the world's central banks and manipulating global economies. But what does the evidence say? Most historians and economists dismiss these theories as baseless and anti-Semitic. They argue that the Rothschilds, while wealthy, do not possess the power or influence these theories attribute to them. They emphasize the danger in perpetuating these unfounded claims, which often serve to fuel hatred and fear. So, what have we unraveled today? We have journeyed through centuries, delving deep into the world of Rothschild conspiracy theories. We've seen how these theories evolved from the family's rise to power in the 18th century to their alleged control over global events in the 20th and 21st centuries. We have explored theories that link the Rothschilds to major historical events like the Napoleonic Wars, the sinking of the Titanic, and the creation of Israel. We've seen how these theories have taken a digital turn in recent times, implicating the Rothschilds in grand schemes like the New World Order and control of the world's central banks. Yet we've also heard the counter-arguments from historians and economists who dismiss these theories as baseless, highlighting the danger in perpetuating unfounded claims. It is crucial to question, to explore, but also to seek proof before believing. As we wrap up, remember, the truth often lies not in shadows, but in the light of day. So keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep seeking the truth.